Hello everybody, first month is here. Uh, I hope this is not the last outdoor video for this year, but I'm not sure. I don't know exactly because the COVID, you know, spreading, etc. So finally, and I'm glad I can do the test, some contest, I would say, on, or comparing my two chopping beauties and dot that are these two guys, guys. Guys, this is this is something I really like. The Cold Steel Gurkha Kukri Plus because the guard and the uh, Warcraft Tanto 13 XTL, they call it Magnum, I believe. Oh yes, it's Magnum on it. So I didn't, I didn't use the name for it, but the, the longest version made of CPM 3D, both cold steels. Uh, by the way, about this uh, Gurkha Kukri Plus, I've been, uh, sorry, I checked, I checked um, uh, cold steel web page and seems to me they already released that Recon Scout made of CPM 3D because you can add it into into your cart, I say. Yeah, uh, so you can buy it generally. Before that, if they don't have something they or they didn't release it yet, they, they had like out of stock. But the Recon Scout is uh, ready to, to buy. So I believe, it seems to me, you can buy that CPM3B, that's important, CPM3B Recon Scout in these days. And what about this? I, I've heard some, some stories that they should release the, this, this Gurkha Kukri Plus made of CPM3V. Uh, of course, up to, uh, it should be for this year, but seems to be it should be uh, before uh, the Christmas coming. So before the Christmas time, it's probably we could buy the CPM3V Gurkha Kukri Plus. I hope so. In the other hand, I got a bad feeling about this, about the cold steel way, because it seems to me these two, I say promised knives, because they did some kind of promise. Uh, they, they announced the Recon Scout CPM 3V and the Gurkha Kukri Plus CPM 3V. Uh, but the, the new generation of Warcraft Tantos will be in Sunmai 3 or some HCR something MOV, I believe it's so two versions, but not CPM 3D again. So I got a bad feeling this is really, uh, these the, these new upcoming models, Recon Scout and uh, Gurkha Kukri Plus, maybe are the last CPM 3D knives in the new Cold Steel era. I got a bad feeling about this, unfortunately, but we'll see, we'll see, nobody knows. So check it out and if they will release those knives of oh, the Gurkha Kukri and the Recon Scout, uh, I'm really thinking to buy them in time as soon as possible, we'll see. But now let's go to the, to the test. Important is to say the Gurkha Kukri Plus is about 600 roughly grams and that uh, Magnum Warcraft Tanto is 550 grams, means this is about two ounces lighter than this one. And because the belly, so probably it's not, not that hard to say, but we'll see which of these two knives is the best chopper or will be the best chopper or better chopper than the other one. But there are, of course, of course, uh, some other another pluses and minuses. And this contest is done with a, with some uh, with some information, let's say, behind of these. And if if you got just one of these, no any else, and I mean any else knife. So no no folders, no no uh, tools tool knives. Simply no any shorter, lighter bushcrafty knives which of these two could be better not only as a chopper but as a one tool option because as we know the Gurkhas carry these uh, these cookeries only but if you remember the original got got to stick the steel there and small knife and the small knife has a meaning uh, it's it's important to have so we'll see in my eyes i carry this one now as a standard why because it is more packable and by the way overall package i mean include the sheath of course it's more slim profile so it's easy to add this into your pack system because it's the slimmer pro profile generally and it's lighter than the gurkha kukri plus that's very important for this test so you see the the huge difference in size so this is the sheath this one weighed 174 grams i and or five and a half ounces i got it i got it written here so that's why i know it otherwise i i, I wouldn't know 
so uh, the difference overall in package is about three ounces. This one is lighter, about three ounces. It could mean something. It's 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 more packable and it's it's lighter, more nimble. This is chopper dedicated, but we'll see about the performance. Now let's go to the test. So what do we have here is the pollen horn beam because we need to to keep it here in in order so i chop this one down with the cookery pretty much easy so how this one can delimit you see that it's whole beams as i said so it's not some kind of easy wood you have to do something with that so you need to use some some power so if you don't see me as usually you need to see the action that's about about two centimeters close to one inch easy with the cookie not to try how about how about the tanto one swing yeah guys hard to say because this one even it's lighter, I don't know, it slices nice, yeah, but you, you, you got the cookery, so you, you got the belly, so you have to chop it like with your, with your hatchet or something like that. But this one, it, it chops down easy. And all, all of them, oh, sorry, both of them are, it seems to me pretty same sharp, so sliced paper, so not really something, you know, let's say as, as, as we, as we cheat or something like this one okay some tiny branches if we need so here for the first thing here is the, the problem i have to keep my knuckles out of this uh let's say working bench oh sorry you don't see that okay i'll set the camera sorry sorry for a moment so now you definitely won't see me but you have to see this one Let's start this one. So as is again, so I need to keep distance from the let's say working bench. Not like with the cookery because the belly gives me kind of distance, like when you chop with your hatchet and with your uh, axe. Same tree. So that's what I said. I'm already above or uh, uh above the, the ground, the surface. So trying to do it light, as you can see, I feel the weight and, and the different point of balance, which I showed you by the way, just that's why I'm doing I won't do it in this way, sorry. That's why just just light. See that just just light swing. You can see how this one works. And I'm chopping down with no angle, so 90 degrees, as you can see, with the angle, but I have to add more power because of course. It's not, not really help. I need to, when I do it, this one, I need to really chop with it. Let me see about this one. Now, this, this one definitely do not bite, doesn't bite, so it doesn't bite in that. So I have to, I have to add some 
that looks it oh, but but it's nimble oh, sorry that was nice this is a comfortable handling I like to work a tanto uh, a bit a bit better for this for this task but it's not big deal by the way oh sorry as I said it, it's sharp so I just want to try find the point of balance so it's somewhere it's somewhere here so somewhere here on the top line is Wow, so you can see also, you can see it immediately, the difference. So we are set point, point of balance uh, at them somewhere together, so you can see it. I hope you can see it already. Yes. So this is, this one is about well, one centimeter, half inch, half inch forward. So it works in that way. That's why we got this one here. So I need to process it. To swing this one, it takes more energy because it's simply heavier and the point of balance. So you feel that, but again, you see how this one uh, sinks in into the bench. Three stamp. One thing, when I do this job, I got a hook here, so I feel pretty much secure, but with the cookery it's, it's even better. Why? Because you got the hooks. Let's call it hawk. With the hawk, not only on on uh, to the finger side, but to the opposite to the spine, and of course the side. So when I do this same, I I could a little bit lose the grip to to be more nimble but I'm secure from each side here I need to be a little bit worried because nothing else secure my hand on it just just this side so not not like that one so this one feels uh, feels more safer even even if this is heavier okay I keep this for some carving but just these tiny tweaks see there's no support for it and I still can chop it that's that's great that's how I work when I do these things I do it I multiply don't want to lose the time and I can do it but now something more real Let's separate it into two two parts. See those? Easy. So let's go. I I, I don't want to to turn it now because it is more easy of course six seven okay eight two inches easy 
hardwood. I do this one the same. I do this just how if I want to chop. That was two, three, four, five. I was wrong. So six. So five to six. So it's slightly better chopper, of course, as we expect. How about this one? I'll put some angle to it. One, two, three. Over inch, three centimeters about. One, two. Sorry. So try again. One, two. Okay. One, two, one. Okay. So, if I do, if I do properly aiming and good, good uh, angle, angle. Sorry, I'm almost there. Four inch, four centimeters, guys. see that so for something like that I still need two two chops about I'm not in the knot too this is more thicker now Seems to me it's not really important if I turn it or not, but okay, it's a little bit help, helpful. So this one simply always do the same performance. Okay, that one was three, but guys, okay. nearly in half so okay I have myself nice three four five so this is more thicker and five okay ah there is a knot sorry there is a knot okay let's see three I fall five, but that was not really good aiming. But what do you say, guys? Seems to me very close performance. This the cooker is a bit better, but I uh, say it's about let's say 50 grams, so about 10 percent better. Yeah, somewhere like that. It could be, it could be now the trunk again. This is more serious stuff. Now I have to do the V-shaped chops. I believe it was five, but see this one, that really doesn't help that much. Well, it sinks, sinked in. How to take this one off? Just it's really in, and the wood isn't. Yes, this one. I believe it was eight, nine, again, again. Oh God! Yeah, it goes probably more deep. Oh. 
it's heavy that's why i keep it in this one it's heavy for that sorry guys okay That's what I do here. I hit hit the hand and uh, the handle a couple of times, but it doesn't look like it loose. Wow, that seems to me nice, nice and okay, okay. More brutal power seems to me better. Still do it from the same side. It was 10, I believe, or, or 11. Not sure, but doesn't matter. Plus one, plus minus. Now. That was a serious piece of wood because that's fresh stuff. It's nearly winter, so it's not full of moisture as normally. We'll see about this one. So the cookery for me uh, did it well, as you can see, but the, the, when it sinks in, which because the full flat, it doesn't really help because you spend energy to take it off. And that's not really something what I like, but as a chopper, generally, it's great. This one, this grinding on this knife is different, as we know. It's four, five. So definitely, definitely, I chopped more. Uh, more about, I, I believe it was about plus three or something like somewhere like that. But you see, uh, you, you can see how easy it was. So sometimes when it, it sinks deep, I like it when you got some piece of wood which you can go through because that helps then. But if it can't, and especially with the moisture there, then you could have problem with the with the dried wood. Of course, there should be any problems or not that big so uh, the chopping effectiveness as a performance the cookery for me was better but for the general use i mean because when i try to take the the cookery off the wood uh, for general use the tanto is simply better because you don't spend that much energy to do something else you just do the chopping let's find let's find out it from the other side this is the same, but it's thinner, plus this stuff, again, again. It's not, I know it, but... Okay. okay, 14, 14, it wasn't that bad as the before with the sinking in. Ten, so four less. So it's very hard to say. Of course, it depends on my aiming and these things, but I usually don't aim that that uh, that bad. But sometimes I miss that mostly I hit somewhere where I want or very close to that, so it works how I want. I miss, I believe, on the Tanto once, so it's not it's not that bad. So hard to say to to chop, uh, to do easy chopping with a with a knife. The Warcraft Tanto is simply for me better choice surprising for me also because I expected it but it's not about the chopping performance how it chops you know, you know the mass what it can do bam one with one swing 
but the general wielding, the, how you how how you can manage the swings, how easy you can take it off and swing again, and these things, the Warcraft Tanto is simply better. I feel that. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's find out before I do before I do some some uh, some dried wood chops. Or, or okay, I'll do it again. Uh, I'll do it now because this one. Not really fresh. It's the same wood, but dried, but not not bad. That was that was the bark only, but the wood is is, is all right. So dried wood. Now we can see that's a different story. Nine dried wood. Nine. Same. Try again. It's not here, so I'm off. Eight. First time, nice, nice to know. Again, why is it gonna happen? No, I mean, absolutely as a shit. Well, I wasn't so satisfied as I want. So for the fresh wood, the tanto seems to be for me as a winner. But as you can see on the dried stuff, mm, maybe it isn't as, as, as I want. So, so again, I found this piece hard wood, not in excellent condition but as you can see it's not rotten just here under the bark but hear the sound so let's find out tanto I don't turn the wood because I want it like that, otherwise when I will turn it, it will be faster. I'm chewing out these. And as you can see, it's really a piece of proper wood.
that's really a test for this knife. I think I never chopped something hard like this one with this knife. That was hard. See the core is really, really good. I say hard anyway. If we got that one already, so let's find out how this will baton through it. I go for the part where is the, the most of the mass of the CPM 3D steel. Nice and easy. Twisted, but still. What about the real edge? Nothing, 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 guys. Excellent. We'll see what about the cooking. How this one would work on this. O1 steel. fine edge for it. I'm a bit worried about the blade. Won't be destroyed. I've seen a couple of pieces of nice steel. You can hear how hard the wood is. And it's all too steel is too steel but still Well, so as, as I said, I've seen one cookery uh, damaged by chopping like that, like this one was. So let's find out. There is nothing. No, no damage of the edge. I'm glad for it. And of course, what about batoning? Well, I destroyed my batoning stick. Let's use the rest of that horn beam. When I baton, when I baton with this cookery, uh, the some logical way will be do it here. It will be more easy, but because this is the the thickest part and this this is kind of wedge generally because it goes down. This is seven millimeters. This is somewhere six and a half. That's very important anyway. This this is counted as a as a quarter of an inch knife, so seven millimeters and the uh, tanto is five millimeters, so 0.19. So there is also different in thickness. So that's why I bought one here. If somebody asked why you do it here, so should be better maybe do it here? Yes, but this is more safe for the knife and it's better split because the wedge. Nice and easy, nice and easy. So, okay, I'll do the con conclusion a bit later. Okay, that was one thing. So we chopped, 
we we did some batoning as you can see the nice pieces of hardwood we can really split so, so there's no problem with that so what about the next uh, the, the light tasks so we'll see now we've seen the chopping we've seen the we've seen the delimbing and these things but what about square notching and these let's say bushcrafty skills also you won't see me but okay, we'll do square notch with with cookery and do it in this way because i regrounded here i and i got the i got a spot for my my index here i can grab it here it's modification but everybody everybody can do it everybody can do it As I said, it's kind of sharp, so it's easy. Easy to read. Also, I could do it in this way, even the cur curved blade. Okay, yes, I can do that, but I have to go more deeper here. With the batoning stick of course it will be a little bit more easy but we'll see we'll see no okay let's do it in this way this one i'm trying i'm trying just these tasks are not the one i do with such a big knife normally That was what I want. And now, now the the tip work. I can go in. This is more manageable. Yeah, I would say it was nice, no problems. What I expect, it will be more easy to do it with the Tanto. Why I do it here? Because I got it under control. It's about point, point of balance where the knife is synced in the wood. This one should be also a bit more easy because the straight tip yes and also I added some more uh, or added no I uh, so I didn't add it I just tried to to use more this let's say habaki where the rest the ricasso here for the for my index which is good. I showed it already on, on the on the in use video of this knife, so I can do it. And if I need to do it more precisely, I go more to the tip. Also, I can handle it in this way. It's pretty safe because I'm in the choils. I can use it as, as a standard knife or even the tanto, the very tanto tip, because it's straight, so it helps, it helps here to do it in this way. So, 
I want was this one is deeper but it doesn't matter because I, when I use the batoning stick I can go deep but how easy it was how how I feel safe when I work with that the the Warcraft Tanto feels much more safe simply because it's lighter and the point of balance is close so and you don't have the curvature uh, curved blade so you you can uh, you, uh, you know better where how, where you feel the knife when where the real edge is and where the tip is it's not curved somewhere else it's just you expect it in the end of the line but on the on the curved blade is not like that of course so seems to me more easy but it wasn't that big deal let's say i counted the work of tanto for this one about 20 percent better so it's really easy to wield easy to do it but not something like the the cookery can't do it it can do it pretty much all right let's say of, of course no, no, none of these knives are bushcrafty knives so let's see if i want to do tip i use it in the, the best way the knife is suited for so this it is first in first line a chopper so i will chop what i have to what i need and then i'm i will carve so just just like that because it was curved as we know so that's why i did it in this way now i grab it where the choil is for me very nice very secure without any any problems any any bad feeling i mean because the safety or something like that no just do it in this way absolutely without any problem kukri the same same way because the chopper wild boars here so many of them so that's why they do that. Oh. okay so I broke it off but there's a chopping it was very easy now the slicing well the momentum where I need to to, to add it there the momentum now uh, it's tiring after time you feel you know how you need to stop you, you do this slide and bang and you have to stop the knife and you bring it back and back so that's that's tiring so if you do a couple of these that's everything fine uh, and the, then the the slicing like uh, the slicing itself is all right there's no no problem because the knife is sharp and these things so uh, the, everything's fine but but the momentum is so when you add the momentum to slice through because the thicker blade generally uh leads your your hand uh, far so you have to stop it use your muscle to stop it bring it back and do it again 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 and as i said if you do it a few times let's say you do, you do uh, 10 packs four five six usually four but maybe four eight maximum probably no, no more it will be fine but when you do it more times for whatever reason you do it for your colleagues you do it for base camp you do it for I don't know you do more more these kind of bushcrafty stuff with the cookery then you probably start to feel it also you you every with every slice every bringing back you got 50 grams or two ounces more which is nothing if you don't do it thousand times i hope you understand so just the slicing so let's say that was that was just the slicing you see I, I, I'm using it in this way because it's more wieldy and I can still do the chop pretty much safe because I, I, I simply I'm crossed around the guard so and just just the, way, the tip with slicing only Without the choil, without the grabbin, where I where I am here now, it will be more harder. So I do recommend everyone to do it this way because you won't sacrifice really some something from the from the real edge, but you get more more uh, friendly uh, use friendly knife. Easy, no problems. Just the, what I said before. The tanto is start to be light immediately when I grab it. I always uh, immediately feel 
I got, I'm go, going for the, about same thickness half inch so excellent for these 10 packs as I said doing the, doing the same this edge the, the part of edge the about four inches behind the guard is all always or also modified same as the as the kukri it's more convex there so it's slightly sharper than than the rest of the blade because I keep the, the blade like as a chopper but here I want I want to slice so as you can see it works pretty pretty nice and if I want to use it in safer way like the more as I said bushcrafty stuff more safe for for people around me so I use the use this uh, chest pull grip I don't want to swing long knife around me I want to have everything under control excellent excellent very very easy very friendly this is friendly I'll do, I'll do the same I have to do it in this way because the gut I can't go over so this is only way how to do it with this knife the grind helps even better even better even better guys <laughs> yeah there is 10 10 10 centimeters or four inches convex again so that's why it, it works like this one but in the curvature you go to curvature so it's it's even better, even better on the cookery. Nice. Uh, firstly, I'd like to start. I believe both of these uh, knives can make sparks, but let's find out the barking with this. We can see that, right? Super, super. So then, I don't think so. That there, will, there will be a problem to get sparks out, out of the ferrule. like not like on the on the stone wash medium for the short what I got as an EDC not on that that one did make the, the sparks the all these black ones as I know because I got already in my hand oh, sorry I, I had in my hand uh, the standard worker tanto the large version let's say let's say that seven inches blade or seven and a half something like that so and I, I had all of them all of the work of tanto in my hand so I know the all the black one can make sparks because they got a sharp uh, spine let's say it is 90 degrees or even more better for this like this one uh, but the stone wash made in Italy uh, can't do it nice and easy so we go to the next spot then this is this is piece of spruce so kindlings let's find out
Oh, it's fine. This is this is long blade. It's thicker behind the real edge, so... What it say? We'll see. Just try. Try and catch the sheep. That's why they screaming there. So, we can make fire pretty much easy with the panto with a 12 inches blade, 550 grams. You can do these bushcrafty stuff as you can see. You can make fire pretty much fast as you can see. There was, I don't know how many minutes, one, two minutes, maybe, maybe less. I, I, I don't know, but I don't care that, that much. I'm definitely not some bushcrafty expert by any means. Of, of course not, I have to learn much, much, much but still i'm trying to make a progress and seems to me something is going on that's great and the point is here what about these knives can i do it with these big knives now the cookery you know that's because the grinding on the cookery works against it against it sorry so i'll try to find a way i probably have to do it in this way because the grind on the, of the cookery is definitely not something what you want to use for your for, for your fire starting see that that's too thick that's not use, useful for for it for the shaving so you have to find a way how to do it it's probably something like this one will be will be sorry will be more suitable So this is the spot where I where I feel it's the is the mine convex on it, my convex on it. Sorry. And as you can see, it works pretty fine. Okay, carry on. Now we got it. I hope we got enough of these shavings.
you already had a fire that there already was something like that I hate the working with with glass I didn't like it With lots of smoke, yes. So it talks a little, little more while it talks, sorry, some time more, but still very use, very usable. Uh, for the kindling, uh, the tanto, the tanto seems to me uh, better for for it. If I want to drill, of course. I can drill with the, with the knife, but to make a hole, so this is it. In, in, in a short moment, so definitely one centimeter deep with the tanto. Not sure because the tip is more to the wedge, as we know. Definitely the tanto, even even if if the the tip is more into the in the line or center. Of the knife, so it is not the best thing. Best like this one. That's that's for sure. This is short. If I wanna do it more, so I will do. But for what do you what it needs for us? I mean, what it should say is it it was already said. So the tanto isn't definitely the good because of the tip uh, for this. What what it is good for. The tip I show it there when you when you need to sink in that what the cookery does in this way, but there is more 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 mass on it. So when it, this one sinks in, so there is more, more mass here. I can do it with the angle and do it just with the tip, so it sinks in more easy. I, I use no no effort, just just lifting and swinging down. So it's it's easy with the tanto. This is this is a harder piece of wood. So just just uh, sorry with the cookery. So that's what I mean. It jumped out. The hard wood. So this is it. So we can use it in splitting. I want to split it in this way. I want to sink in. So I have to do it or I, I, I can do it in this way. And I'm there. So of course you can do you can do this technique with the with the tip like here with the uh, cookery of course or any belly generally but the belly of course got more more meat if that will be more pronounced then of course it will work, work better also I can do, I can turn it and go more to the tip but you know if I'm here so what, what shall I do if I if I want to carry on I have to do to press this one if I'm if I'm here and the, the knife is synced there so it's very easy to, to get because usually in, in, I'm in surface somewhere here so I can just just do a little bit just this 
when it's in true it's generally done it's, or is half done here it takes more energy because you have to you have to beat this one up to to let these these longer parts simply go through but it's it is still the same technique same meaning only the tip because it is a tip generally uh, got got a point i mean point plus for penetration that's that's what i want to say okay guys some final con conclusion it's a very long time but these two knives really really asks for it and uh, uh, i'm glad i got i got them each of each of uh, these two knives is or oh, either of these i hope i saying correctly as these two knives uh, are is great generally because you can do lots of things lots of bushcrafty things but still what i want to say none of these two is good for really beginners because simply they these are long heavy and potentially more dangerous for not for the user only and but of course for the people around because you when you swing you you got long reach especially with the cooking when you do slice there is a momentum you you have to then you have to stop it and because the forward edge you can simply uh, at least cut some someone or chop in hard here it's it's less probably because the the you got more the point of balance under control that's important and of course you got a straight edge which when you do this you, you stop it and simply you know where the blade is where when you got this one see i got the same angle but see the difference where the real edge is here it's nicely covered here it's much forward which is of course the power of the cookery but it's the dangerous thing thing if we are talking about uh, this one i can make sparks as you can see i can uh, make a fire relatively very easy i would say with tanto it's better more more easy more wieldy and everything but for for the, the carving not uh, when you see it, when i did the tip on the fresh stuff well the 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 cookery because the curvature there really helps with the original grinding it it wasn't do that guys that's very important you have to you have to if you got this knife exactly uh <laughs> the, the model uh you have to uh, change the grind the, if there will be the original standard with a high secondary bevel it won't work like this one it was just when you you go in and you, you are stuck there because there, the angle the secondary bevel was too too high it was like wedge you sing in and you much use much 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 big force power, power to to go through which is not safe again with the convex on it uh, it works as you can see here yes i got this one also modified but because the this is this this sweep is nicely long and the secondary bevel isn't that high even it's modified so it's great anyway for the drilling interestingly this one is better because well, see, we can see here some kind of triangle which helps of course when you drill here not really because this angle isn't that friendly for any drilling it's, it's, it's made to to stand sub abusing and i believe when you need to stop through this this one survives more because there is simply more meat behind more more meat behind the the blade you can see it or behind the edge so uh, just 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 like that about the handling uh there were th there was some talking about uh, uh if the if the cookery handle loose simply somebody said that so not in my case for the years i got it no that's absolutely great and and this one on this one it was it was slightly loose you uh, loose sorry after some time of using not now not today but before so i i tidied it up properly it's d-shaped inside as i said so you need only one screw i don't know now which size it was it's kind of torx i believe it's torx not not iron key but i'm not sure now so you need just one you don't need two to catch it here so it's d-shaped so and you you have to tie it up if you do that after today test what we've seen here with the hardwood especially with the hardwood of course you do it no nothing so it's absolutely great absolutely there so maybe from the when they make uh, when they make the knife as a new one of course maybe they didn't tie it up properly uh, i can't remember if the, if there was the kind of glue you know the 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 tidying secure i don't know how to say the blue one or red one i can't remember if there was one but definitely it's it gonna lose uh, sorry it went loose after time before as i said 
after that, and I, I, I didn't add it, I bought it already, but I didn't add it there. But I would say uh, the problem of this knife, uh, especially the handle, is the screws, the screws, sorry, are too tiny for such a long knife. It's interesting. I never seen such a small, I, I believe in the, on the small model, on the medium, which has less than half a long uh, blade, the, the screws are the same. And this is really ready for chopping. So I personally would add something really more, some some more thicker. This is these are about three millimeters. I don't know three, three and a half. I believe no more uh, in um, in diameter. So I would add five millimeters, so 0.2 of an inch, about something like that, because the knife for me asks for it. But okay. But definitely, if I said okay, I I, I need to take the knife somewhere else for the i don't know i'm going for for a long time so outside for a week two weeks and longer longer probably as, as more as more long as more i need this one so i will add the blue uh, something to the glue which is uh, which is um, uh, kind of secure the tidying uh, of the screws that's definitely i would i would do it if i am here somewhere around the houses I do and or i go for one two day trip so i don't care i can sometimes just check it out if everything's fine if it's and everything's fine but now now guys the general question both of them capable excellent this one was slightly for me slightly more expensive than this one if there will be in cpm 3v i don't know the price uh, for me here that's for me important that or not uh, on the cold steel page uh, that will be could be a different story. I've seen this one broke, as I said, when it, when I chopped the the hard piece. I was kind of worried because this is this is kind of tiny uh, blade. So I've seen this one. Uh, it was chipping, but <laughs> chipping. It was really really big portions of of the of the steel was was gone simply on the O1 version. The, the this Gurkha Kukri Plus, I think I believe is only. Now at the moment only in 01 steel, the recipient three will be the second version. So uh, I could be a little bit worried. I never seen something like this one. Of course, I expect this is CPM 3V, so I expect that this one to be a bit more tough than this one. Okay, I got the coating, which is plus, no need for uh, in a CPM 3V. This one rust, catch rust very fast. This one doesn't catch rust very fast. It can be rusty, of course, but uh, it is not, not as, uh, I would say, I would say fragile, or I would say that for, uh, it has the tendency to catch the rust O1, absolutely. CPM3 definitely not. If the, I'll put my CPM3 knife into the she, in, in a sheath, and then I take it off after one, two hours, I am not worried to have a, a rust on it. So uh, that's something which we should decide. So this one was slightly, for me, slightly more expensive as a new one. Well, there is price, I believe, different. So let's say 100 bucks about these two, which is for somebody question, because for 100, 100 uh, US dollars, you can buy another com a company knife or something like this on. But what's important, uh, this is heavy. This is heavy anyway. So uh, if you want something as a compact knife, which will be anyway good, but you know, then you got another weight to this, which is already heavier about, let's say, in the... F uh, Complete pack, so include the sheet about three ounces. So you would, if you add even a folder, then you got another three ounces at least. So it's uh, six ounces different for that. Uh, so the general question is, if I go for a long trip, etc., etc., for a long time, let's say if they do the survival somewhere in wilderness for a week, two, three months, let's say which of these two? I would say this one. This one, from a couple of reasons. Uh, reason one is the coating, or this one simply catch the rust. The problem on the cookery, I won't carry any knife which can rust very fast. That's important, very fast. Uh, and I don't have any to, or too much things how to care about it. Of course, I got some so if I kill animal, but let's say I don't have it now. You know, I have to build a build a camp or something like that. I have to uh, catch or hunt hunt down the animal, and I don't have it now. So then after that, I can do it. But I will I will do it. and if the rust will be on it already, 
you know the the something learn the fat from from animal won't remove it from the knife so that's one thing cpm in the cpm3 version it could change the situation but let's talk a little bit later about it so about the rust cpm3 version rust, that could be different also it can sort that chipping as i said which i will be a little bit worried because i've seen it already and that's the problem if if i never seen i say okay wow it will be hard to destroy all one steel well when you see that i said mm -hmm, and i got experience with me uh, my personal experience when i when i chopped some some spruce with sk5 uh, so it was kind of uh, cookery before made by cold steel black one so on the spruce i really made the chips there so i've seen it in my personal but not in 01 but sk5 but i've seen it already on that 01 worker cookery plus that's you know that you don't it don't gives you some some good sleeping if you if you have a plan to do some long trip so that's the cpm 3d so 01 cpm 3 another thing the packable it's lighter it's nimble as i said uh, it's more useful as a, as a normal knife. Yeah, this one helps the curvature and especially when you do chops. So you, you know, fall, fall, fall down a sapling or tree. This one definitely helps. So this one can, can get a tree, let's say, uh, or, okay, let's put it in this way. It will be something like this one. I won't talk about it. Even this one can do it, let's say in four swings, probably. Uh, this one, let's say in five or six. So it doesn't really matter if you do something you know a bigger one then of course you have to think if you want to use knife for it anyway and if you want okay but uh, that then the cookery will be probably better for it but uh, it's as i said uh, effectiveness effectiveness when uh, in um, uh, fresh stuff or fresher stuff because as i said it's kind of dry because this fog uh, uh, winter is here so uh this one can can chop down the tree let's say minus 10 percent of energy 10 percent of swing or 15 let's say i would be generous so so that's something like that so i need to use i need to swing this one a few times more but this one is lighter than this one well it could put these things into line you know that's one thing so as i said and this one you use it simply as a normal as a normal knife you got a standard feeling i like really like cookery so the, the chopping power but when you got only the cookery so even the gurkhas cook got the small the, the get this small knives or, or small knife plus the steel to it simply because this is too big too heavy and as i said if you are tired especially if you are tired and you have to do the swings it could be really dangerous this is more kind of normal feeling knife so of course when you chop when it flies you you let your finger there it's gone of course i believe when you if, if you chop like this one your full hand i mean is, is gone because this is really serious chopper but this one of course it's cookery, you know. So I will go for this one with with the reason I've said, but it's nothing nothing against the cookery. If that cookery will be made of CPM 3D, it puts these things a little bit uh, into the line again. But uh, it's because the performance, what I said, with the, the ability to to chop the cookery, the the CPM 3D cookery will be same performer but the probably more tough steel, maybe it holds an edge a little bit better. So I, I did it. There's no, no, not the, a better rust resistance, of course, than this thing, but there may be, it, the knife will be more expensive than this one. And still, and that's important, this is more packable and light. For somebody, it counts. So I will take, let's say, okay, I, 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 I got this one and with the same weight, generally, I got, this one and i got the same weight about like that one or well, overall i mean with the sheath and why there's a there's a saw on it and these things small blade for carving for food prep or something like that so more safe to use uh, than uh, okay that's it it's too long guys thank you very much have a nice time i hope these are great knives hope you enjoy that bye